I'm a, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. And uh, I, I, for those who don't know, the, the, the show is kind of premised on the ruling families. And so we had uh, uh, House Lannister and House Stark in the show, and certainly in Canada the last uh, few years. We've seen uh, the Trudeau name that uh, mm -hmm. has uh, transcended generations. Uh, most recently, uh, the, the Mulroney name, right? yes. Caroline, the yes. daughter of the former prime minister, seek the PC leadership. We have Doug Ford uh, and his late brother, the mayor uh, of Toronto. Um, and, and so we have this trend now of families who continue in the family business of politics. So no secret, your, your mother, Judy, uh, who's long standing, highly respected uh, MP, uh, federal MP, represents Humber River, Black Creek, yes. and you're running in the same riding. Now, I, I don't, you know, I, I'm only half kidding here. Do, do you feel that having, having grown up in it, that uh, you, you, you have an, an additional perspective that, say, if, if I ran for office, I'd be the first one in my family to do it. I'm not running for office, but if I were, <laughs> I'd be the first one. You should. I don't have, I don't have you know, that, the kind of pedigree. Uh, that you have. Do you find you have maybe an additional perspective on, on this line of work that, that others might not? And, and I'm not only talking about experience in elections. Yes. I'm talking about the business of actually being a representative, mm -hmm. of actually governing. What, well, that, what can you tell us about that? It's, it's interesting uh, that you ask the question and frame it in the way you do with Game of Thrones and references to Trudeau and Mulroney. Certainly, Mum um, and I don't, uh, don't put ourselves in that category. As you know, uh, my mother's been a politician for over 30 years. But prior to that, uh, my mother was a mother. Uh, she's married to an immigrant. She always volunteered. So she was involved in our schools, our church, the Canadian Cancer Society, our local hospital. And I think when I think about my dynamic and my uh, deciding to follow the family footsteps of politics, it relates more to that. It relates more to what I've seen and how I've been raised and influenced by actions. So similar to my mom, I was a full-time worker, but obviously um, gave time, not obviously, but chose to give time to the various schools that my children attended, to the hospital that serviced my community, to um, the, uh, one of my favorite is Law Help Ontario. So to individuals who couldn't afford, uh, I'm a lawyer by education and occupation, and I was able through Law Help Ontario to volunteer once or twice a quarter in the small claims court and in the superior court for people who couldn't afford lawyers. And what I reflected on in, in doing those things is that as an individual, I was happiest when I was helping people. And I see that in my mom. So I don't look at, at uh, myself as having a particular um, advantage strictly because, uh, or perspective strictly because my mom is a politician, but I do see that her years of public service have influenced me. So her demonstrated actions have resonated with me and created a perspective uh, that applies to me in the way I want to live. And because of that, I believe that a politician is first elected for their constituents. And this is something that's resonated from my mom. Uh, first and foremost, if my constituents choose me, my uh, desire is to be their voice, to ensure that I am listening to their concerns and representing them at all stages possible. And that, to some degree, is a form of, of, uh, of volunteering, of giving back. I really see it as giving back. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely uh, excited to follow uh, in my mother's footsteps. She's done a phenomenal job. What it also has done is shown me how much hard work is involved. Uh, if you do the job and you do it right and you're passionate about people, it involves a lot of time. And my mom has done a great job of giving me that perspective. So I have the advantage, I think, of knowing what to expect. Also seeing how I can impact people. You know, Joe, when I made the decision to run, uh, it involves family support and a sure. number of elements and giving up a career. And I thought about spending time with my mom in the community and how effective we could be together. And that was really motivating for me. Uh, I also thought about how incredible it would be to 
be able to help our constituents provincially and federally. And my mother can't get away from my phone call. So when I think about the family dynamics, it's really more close to home and focused to, on my constituents versus, uh, and, and sort of my life experiences. Yeah, and I have to think that when, when you were still living at home with, uh, with Judy, that you know, some of the dinner table conversations would be different than, say, for a lot of other families. If, you know, if, if your mother has a federal MP, and she was a minister yes, for a while. Yes, citizenship and immigration. Uh, you know, could, could come home and talk about, you know, I helped this family with this problem. And you, know, you get a kind of a, you feel pretty good about it. And I guess as a, as a daughter, you'd feel pretty proud of that. And I wonder if it kind of it sticks with you as, as you're growing up and you know you're raising your own family. There's this sort of, I, I want to do that too. That was that, that was feeling, that feeling yeah. of giving back. You know, mom wasn't ever one to really boast about her accomplishments. Uh, and I knew she was special. I, I know my mother's been very much appreciated in my community, but my goodness, Joe, I hear it every day. I get at least one story, whether it's as simple as, as sending a letter on a constituent's behalf, probably on an area not even federally related. Uh, the stories I hear, it's beautiful. And, and my mom has created a legacy in that community, and I'm so proud. And I'm so proud and happy to be able to be experiencing it through my knocking on doors now as her daughter. Right. And you had obviously helped her on her campaigns before. Yes. Last question before we wrap up. Is the experience of being a candidate yourself what you expected? Is it different than what you expected? Are you, are you getting surprised? Tell us a little bit from a, from a human perspective yeah, yeah. what it's and, like. And I can touch on that because, as you know, I have been very actively involved in my mother's campaigns um, because that's what family does. Uh, it is extremely different being a candidate. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm much more aware of the people who are helping me, the people who are coming to my office who I've never met before, who are taking the bus to come and help me knock on doors because they believe in me. And I feel such a, uh, a, a, the extent of gratitude and appreciation I have for these people and that desire to ensure that I, I'm successful because these people are giving me their time. I didn't feel that pressure knocking on doors for my mom. I feel that pressure as a candidate. It's a good pressure. It's a positive pressure. I sometimes get overwhelmed. We do little rallies on Saturdays before we head out to the streets. And so I'll make a, a short speech. And it's not unusual for me to get a little emotional as I'm speaking because I look around the room and it's full, full of people who care about our province and about me and about our constituents and my community. It's, it's really quite beautiful.